Hello and welcome to this uh, small episode of me flying a uh, Lockheed uh, EC-121 which is the, um, the the military version, one of the military versions of the Lockheed uh, constellations, or the super constellation I think um, which was a airplane developed during the second world war, actually before then, for TWA but as the war broke out, uh, the military army, I think, they were the first um, armed services that took uh, started using the, the constellation as it was known then, uh, the first versions of it. Um, so anyway, um, God, I keep saying mm, every time. Um, again, <laughs> the constellation or the super constellation it was used in, in numerous uh, military roles. One of the one was for the army was transport, and then it was used by the navy, and and uh, finally as the air force. Uh, I think it was finally. I think that it was in that order, and they were used as a military airborne radar station. So uh, they weren't called E. They are called E. Uh, e C, and then a number in the super constellations case. It's E C one twenty one. Um, but it wasn't known as an easy 121 from the beginning. It was some sort of other designation uh, or something. But then that was changed, I think, early 60s or 70s. Um, anyway, that's history. Uh, this model you can find on uh, flightsim.com or AppSim. Uh, there's the, uh, the standard version. If you go to Cal Classics, uh, I think it's uh, calclassic.com. I'm just going to check it. Classic.com. Cal Classic.com. And you're on the planes, you can. F uh, pl the planes, you can find the constellation, super constellation, and the Starliner, which are all versions of the constellation. Um, and there you can find links to, to download those airplanes. You can find a link to the military version. Um, but if you go to flight sim and look for EC-121, you can find that. You can, I think you can also find a good panel there, the one I'm using. If I remember, I can put the links in the description, but and I'm, I'm not really sure I can actually link it. So anyway, uh, this is kind of, kind of a cool plane because it has this panel. And we're going to start up by setting up a fuel. We don't need very much fuel. So we're going to have fuel in our left tank, 100%. We uh, uh, left. Uh, see where's left. Left and right. So it's the same amount. We can we can have zero in our center fuel tank. We don't need that. Uh, we can leave. We can leave fifteen hundred just to show you how to use the tanks because this is a trick. And then we have external tabs. That's uh, one of the. It's not external. It just has has that name in FS9, and then right tip tanks too. So set that up. Uh, first thing we'll do if we go down here in the middle, uh, there is a pop up with the uh, different screens. Okay. Radar screen. Uh, no, avionics suite. Down here you can find FE, which is Flight Engineer Station. So we get bring the, brings this up. Here we can engage external power. Battery power is here. This is a mags. Um, so and then here we have a propeller, um, propeller lever, propeller lever, which changes the RPM. This is these are the throttles. Um, these are uh, the. Uh, Turbos, you can set them low, or high, low or high. Um, you switch that at ten thousand feet. We're gonna go. We're not going to go that high today, but you can switch that at ten thousand high, and then you get more power out of the engine. Here is the mixture, and this is the fuel tank selector. Um, so we're gonna uh, set them these in conjunction with this one. This is the fuel pumps. Uh, sort of gives us we, um, we use different fuel tanks different uh, configuration during different phases of flight depending on how much fuel you have in the tanks and stuff 
So that's read me with the um, basic airplane. You should read it because it's otherwise you'll then you will stop and you have no idea why. Um, but we need to turn on um, so this one fuel. This one is we're going to dump fuel. This is the top um, display. So here we have most we use this to see. Here we have uh, left tip tank, right tip tank, and center tank. Uh, gonna use. And here we have left wing, left wing, right wing, left wing. Uh, make wonder why. Oh yeah, I did set it up a little bit wrong. The center right front. Makes this external. Is it four thousand three hundred? This might be. Oh, I'm not thinking. Let's see, see the increase. Okay, so we're gonna um, when we start it up, we're gonna have fuel tank selected like this. And uh, if we look at the fuel page here, we will use our um, we'll have this set to high, set to high. We will use our uh, primary left wing tank which is number one and, and number four so we go down here we can see number this is number one and this is number four so that's on uh, we could also uh, the thing is you can't feed from both one and 3a at the same time I believe you can only feed from one of those so set it, like, set it up like this. Uh, we could feed from two and three at the same time. Um, this is a fuel pump. Of, of, or if you want to use a center fuel tank, well, you, this is called cross field levers. So now we have fuel. We'll put high, mix to the high. Can I turn one? Two, first we're going to set up the lights. Like so. so, lights. Um, and we'll start with we'll the start priming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll start, give it a few. No, we didn't need to go. Sometimes it won't start on the first go, so see? Number the engine is started, so three, four, it's the next sequence. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is This is quite different from different from uh, the way I start stopping. I think. So now we're feeding fuel from. I'm gonna check the feed fuel one and four these ones, uh, and we're feeding from two and three these ones. So 
one and two is feeding in this V4 and one, and then uh, V and two of that by uh, tank two and three. Basically, so that's and it works if you have fuel in these tanks. We'll go here, we'll set up flaps, flap 60. Flaps coming 60. Do a short flight today of. I oh, haven't sh shown you back what. This is at the Stream Teams uh, Honolulu. Which is a freaking, I'm sorry, pardon my language, freaking amazing airport the scenery for FS2004 and uh, I think it's available for FSX and prepared 3D2 but this is pretty good works pretty good, good frame rates always been good frame rates this is static back um so I think trim we need a little bit of trim the two section and we're very flexible so we're gonna type to see take up the runway
side of the panel you can see um, this SM button here icon. You press it, you can go into file, order which makes this a very good command. You will keep those that setting to the computer to have a record of the computer's history. Okay, so if we look at the camera we're going here, we have the use of the camera that way, both that way. Let's say we want to use view from our center time. So we have the center time here, we have the end time. So if I want to use number five, we'll go to panel. Our SD. We've just turned it on, nothing happens when we press it. That's the selector. We then we can now cross view, so we can now go to cross view.
as you can tell I haven't used the HRT at all. So we didn't, didn't, didn't do that very great. So we had this set to what was it? 90 and then we reduce it by through the descent checks or finding this on 
Hot apps 10%. As I said, this I'm not an expert in any way, and this is like I don't know, is it flight I'm doing. So RPM 1800, 1800 set. Reduce that by two percent inches. or lean set Show you if you right click on this checklist button, uh, you get this one. You can see things and settings and the means of exam thing. Here's a chemical. Right click on it again and it If you look at the, if you first try to this kind of look at there's a small view thing that's the accent on or you said. we could also We're going to set it up uh, planning, so we go back to the uh, set up before. So Thank you. 
station can be on this this okay. Okay. No class, no class in that so you just have to flash no class and then send down to the jam. Some land if you down to the airport and down to the runway. So if you go to Cal Classics webpage, X on that webpage you can find uh, you can find this. Um beautiful model. It's a bit tricky because it doesn't give me this one like automatic feeding from each tank because I have to, you have to do that manually and you have to keep track of them because otherwise the end of this stuff. And it's, uh, the whole process is easily part of this one, but it, 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 is, it is explained in the manual, so you read the manual. Seriously read it, otherwise you'll get in trouble. And trust me, I got into it at some time. Times. I was looking for the volcano, volcano, which you can actually drive into. You drive into it, and then you um, uh, you drive into it, and you park in the middle of the volcano, and then you can walk up um, uh, to a few looking. Po I think that's one point where you walk up to, which is really cool. I went there. It was quite a windy day, but inside the crater, it's really really um what do you say hot hottest word i'm looking for so you could you sort of walk up a trail and then you walk into tunnels and then you sort of end up at the look at look out point i see very nice. You, you want to see it? You just go to you go to Google Maps, and you can actually sort of look at the whole thing. You can walk up there same route as I as we walked up. I'm looking at the other, the other screen and there's a guy who was taking a picture of the Google person that walked. You can actually walk up the trail. There's no point of ever taking a vacation again. Have you been to Hawaii? No, but I walked the uh, Diamond Head Trail on Google Maps. I'm still recording. Um, okay, anyway, let's get back in. Thanks, it's set. How many of you can just pull? It's a point to see what. Spark control. Hard. Let's reach out to see if we can just try. Fix this other 
storage. Flaps coming, 60. Gear yes. down and locked. Again.
I don't usually do this. Four hundred feet. 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 One hundred feet. Fifty feet. Twenty. So if you extend the maps for the gears and the brake control system, hydraulic system, which you can also, I think, read it right in the manual. Okay. Watch for Lap zero 80. Niner, start next Flaps coming 80. If you don't have FSD and teams, the uh, Honolulu, this is really truly amazing. It's only one glitch, and that's the where we just passed between the taxiways there. There's a glitch. It's the only glitch I ever found on this map. Otherwise, this is uh, truly amazing scenery. To focus on my driving skills. Ramp here at Hickam Airfield, Airbase, uh, which is a shared, and they shared a runway with the uh, uh, I guess the base is otherwise separate. separate. Speeding airplanes over there. Yeah. I think the C 170s are static airplanes, basically. Heat off. Um, that's good. So we'll turn max off. And then all of it there off. Cool. So lights off. And that's it for this flight. <coughs> Sorry.
so this was a short flight around Honolulu uh, takeoff and landing in the Lockheed Super Constellation in the military version um, EC-121 which you can find off flightsim.com um, and I recommend going to calclassics.com because that's an excellent site uh, links to these not to the military version but the civilian version so anyway thank you for watching I hope you liked it if you like it give me a thumbs up uh, like um, share and subscribe take care bye bye